Well, I went and had a meeting with the gallery owner that's taking over the Selby Fleetwood space. And she spent an hour with me, which I thought was pretty nice. And then at the end of the day, neither one of us could say yes to the other. So the net net of it is that James and I will be taking our paintings out of Selby's on November 30th, the last day they will be open for business. And we'll be starting a new era, galleryless in Santa Fe for the first time in 12 years. No, more than that, 15 years. 12. 12 was uh, our current gallery. Right, that's Three true. Years. You're right. 15, I years, 15 years. We've had a gallery. Yeah. So this is a sort of a big deal and an exclamation point on both our painting careers. And we've been talking about this a lot. And um, one of the things that we both love the most is, or one of the most things we love is working with our materials mm -hmm. and just a pure act of painting. And I remember when we first got into painting together over 20 years ago, we never thought we'd make a living at it. That was never right. our intention. We never thought we'd be in a gallery, we wanted to be in a gallery, we just wanted to paint. So in a sense, we're back to where we were when we first started. Right. And it feels good, actually, despite yeah, the reduction of Yeah, it feel good. So we've got plenty of work to, in our current galleries. They've got plenty of our work. So we have a big open space time now to... Uh, uh, paint whatever we want, mm -hmm. be as adventurous and creative as we want. And really experiment. Experiment. And for me, for me, uh, I'm sort of going back to my roots. And uh, I, I did a big angel series like years and years ago, which I, I think was really my strongest suit. Those never went to the gallery. And now I'm doing these big faces, big portraits, which I think is another strong suit. So... I'm going to continue on with that. And Julia, what do you continue well, with? Well, I'm going to develop my big abstract series. Um, I think the smallest I want to do them is like 48 by 36, but really go large. I've bought some rolls of large unstretched canvas. Um, I'm just going to tack, I'm going to tack it up on the wall and start wailing away, which I have been doing for the last two weeks or so. Um, my biggest selling series has been my figures, which are on paper. And the maximum size of those is 30 by 22. But they may start taking a second seat to this other work, which will be way more experimental. I mean, in truth, um, the figures sort of locked me down here in Santa Fe. And that's what I'm known for here. But it's so expensive to frame them. And there's so much handling involved that I'd rather maybe ease away from them or find a less expensive way to present them because it's, it's, it's almost cost prohibitive to really do a lot of those. Um, yeah, and you know, the thing is, we, we do want to sell our paintings. Don't, don't get us wrong. Uh, art and commerce have always intersected. If you look at the Renaissance and uh, pre-Renaissance, the church pretty much controlled the commissions and the painters were buying for those commissions I needed to get paid and so they were really commercial artists in many ways like the church would say I need so many cherubs in this painting give me some angels uh, I want a painting of this religious figure or I need a picture of the Christ and these painters would do it and there's also a big history of great painters who were portrait painters like Rembrandt who had a thriving portrait business for wealthy people and Kelly did the night watch which undid him so art and commerce meet somewhere but like my 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 art teacher says you should never start painting with the objective you're going to paint uh sell it you want to paint from your your soul and your spirit and what moves you and we know that there's so many great artists who never sold any paintings at Van Gogh, Gauguin, although Gauguin was selling and did want to sell. Um, so we, we see this as kind of a, a twofold thing where we're still in the business of making art and we're also in the art making business. business. And this is a time for us now to explore Many things we left behind, mm -hmm. things we didn't take we care never of, got to. paintings we wanted to paint, but we're afraid to paint mm -hmm. because uh, galleries wouldn't take them. So 
here we are perched on a brand new world. We're gonna, it's very liberating. And I feel personally that this is going to be a wonderful winter of just hanging out in the studio like every day that I can be there and that you can be there and just trying all kinds of new things. And we, I'm looking forward to it personally a lot. So, so am I. And, um, uh, uh, I think it's going to be exciting and we, we, want to recapture some of that old excitement. So like when we started years ago, years and years and years ago, and we're just thrilled to come up with a painting. And, and that's really what we're in it for. More than the money, we're in it for the highs and the, and the, uh, the oh wow moments of uh, painting good paintings. And that moment when you say, geez, did I do that? And, and just feeling uh, a great sense of uh, wonder. Wonder, I think. Wonder. Wonder yeah. is the wonder is our catchword of the day. Well, and so what we'll be doing is activating our space, our studio space, a lot more. We'll be uh, putting an ad in one of the um, tourist guidebook magazines, the Essential Guide. We'll be amping up the workshops a little bit. Um, we're excited to be in the neighborhood that we're in. When we first bought that studio, it was there was nobody there. Nobody. There was an, an old dead bowling alley where there had been a murder, like in 2006. But now it's a vibe. It's becoming a much more vibrant area with restaurants and little businesses. So we're kind of looking forward to being involved in that development. Actually, it's going to be different, way different than what we we thought. And the thing about the art business that. James and I both exclaim upon every day is you never know what the day is going to bring. If the, if the day is going to bring some new exciting piece of information, news of some gallery opening up, you just never know. So we'll just wait with open hearts to see what happens. Yeah, I'll keep you informed of everything.